All right, here with Jenny Shin. Five birdies today. Just what was working for you so well? Uh, the weather. I mean, no wind, no rain. Um, greens are a little bit softer than Thursday and Friday, so I was able to attack the pins a little bit more. Um, and I was pretty comfortable out there, so the shots were working out. Um, had a lot of birdie putts inside 15 feet, which is a bonus at a major. So. Absolutely. All right, we'll go ahead and open up, Jeff. What did it feel like inside as you saw yourself just continue to climb up this board? It was exciting. Uh, I've not been here in a while, so um, kind of freed me up a little bit. Uh, it was nice to see that I can do it, so good day. And, and as you look at the day, what was best in your game today? Uh, probably ball striking. Um, I mean, I didn't chip too many times today except for the last hole. And again, a lot of putts inside 15 feet and um, you know, paid attention to that during the practice days and yeah, paid off. Beth Ann? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, the, when I talked to you late last year, you were saying that you were trying to prove something to yourself and mm -hmm. you, were, you were working harder than you had in a really long time. Did you prove something to yourself, or have you at some point <laughs> in the past year? Is that work paying off? I think there's a progress. I think I've put myself in contention a lot more times this year than the past five, six years. Um, and yeah, I mean, I saw my name in the leaderboard quite a few times coming down the stretch, and um, it's only June, so, you know. We'll see where I am in November. Is that from a product of, of working harder? Or? Uh, mm, smarter, mm. better, mm -hmm. better quality. I mean, when does trying harder ever work, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think I am uh, seeing things and, and, and doing things a little bit differently. Um, and, and not to be so deep, but I'm. Um, uh, there's more purpose. Uh, I'm, it, you know, before golf was everything. You know, golf was life, and now it's just a job, which is quite surprising. Um, and I love my job, and I want to again prove myself that I can be really good at this job. So, has somebody helped you reach that perspective or get to that place? Uh, yeah, I mean, there isn't one person, you know. Um, there's a lot of people in life, a lot of experience, a lot of... It's just the things that I've experienced really in life. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Two questions. One is, when you, 2020 hindsight, you put yourself in positions to do something. What has been the one thing that's held you back? held me back in the sense of you know winning I guess is what everybody wants to do what is the one thing that's kept you from winning uh, good question I um, there was a period of time where I was I was happy not winning I was happy with playing decent golf um, you know this is my 13th year out here so there's I'm sure if you ask any players that's been out here that long, there's always like ups and downs and phases in life. And I think I went through that phase. So uh, now, you know, I want to win more than anything. Yeah. And the second question is, I guess I was looking at your age. I mean, have you grown up as a golfer in that, in that sense? Sure. Uh, as a human being, um, I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> matured, but <laughs> I I definitely have a lot of experience. and. Um, I've seen a lot, I've done a lot, I've just seen a lot, you know, compared to some of the girls out here who are 21, been out here for three years. I, I've just seen so much that um, I have different perspective to things, I guess. Jenny, you, you said it drive on um, after those two opening, solid, really solid opening rounds, that it's been kind of a rough time and, and it meant a lot to see that good golf and things pay off. Round like today, how much does it mean to see it pay off? Uh, I don't know. It's it's only Saturday, but you're right. I it's it feels great to be where I am, um, and again, just knowing that I can be here 
uh, is a massive improvement. And um, yeah, it, it, it freed me up mentally a little bit. And I was, it was like any other day today. I wasn't as nervous. I wasn't as uptight. I wasn't uh, desperate to leave the golf course. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice being where I am, right, uh, you know, regardless of what happens tomorrow. At one of your shots today, I can't think of what hole it was, you kind of looked a little surprised it was within 10 feet. Um, what have you been working on with your ball striking that's maybe allowed for some of those surprises out here at a tricky golf course? Um, I guess the biggest surprise was number 16, the par three. I hit the seven iron. I, I expected to just carry the bunker, but it flew like 163, and um, that's just, you know, adrenaline. And that's kind of what I was shocked with. I was like, whoa. And, and to you know, pitch too short and still finish before the slope and not roll down. I was just like, okay, the green's a little bit softer than I expected. So that's that was the surprise. But ball striking, I mean, I haven't been working on anything. I mean, it's um, – I, I bet my swing hasn't changed in 20 years. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same. It's just how I – how I see the shot, how I – you know, it's, it's more of can I do it? How good is my commitment? How much do I trust myself? And then last one for me, T6 at ShopRite, best finish of the season so far. How much momentum did that give you heading into this week, playing more New Jersey golf? Yeah, it was great. I had a, it wasn't even a B game, and I finished six. And sure, I was disappointed that I didn't finish in top five, but I was like, hey, you know, considering that it was a B game, I still finished in top 10. I can probably do better. All right, and then we'll wrap it up here with, uh, in English with Juan. Yeah, so, so I mean, you were, you were talking about a moment in, in your career where you didn't find the motivation. And I wonder if with golf being something where you can be playing for 20 years or something like that, if you are good enough, you go through all the phases, no? Then you want to quit, then you have the motivation, and then you find the passion again, no? And I, I wanted you to talk a little bit about this and what you see around you and also where you found your passion again, no? Do we have enough time to talk about this? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, um, I, I think I grew up playing golf for my parents. You know, my Korean parents were really strict with me and um, I didn't like, I didn't roll into this game wanting to be number one in the world. You know, I just was like happy being out here. I was like, oh, I'm an LPG tour player. I'm a I'm one of the best world players in the world. So, like, I uh, kind of lost, like, where I want to be, what my goal is, like, where do I want to be in 10 years? I, I didn't have that. So I guess that's where the maturity comes in. Um, a few years back, I just asked myself, where do I want to be in five years, and what do I want to accomplish? How do I want to end this career? And I think that's where it really started, started rolling. Um, and COVID helped a lot. I was uh, not playing golf for eight months. That was really devastating for me. Um, so, yeah, hated COVID, but loved COVID. So what, what makes you passionate about golf right now? Um, uh, I'm a perfectionist in some ways, um, and you can never be perfect with this game, but I'd like to give it a try. So I'm digging my own grave. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. And now I'm going to kick it over to Fran, who's got a couple for you in Korean. 한국말로 대답 부탁드릴게요. Nice. 어 오늘 보기 없이 버디 다섯 개 잡으시고 좋은 라운드 하셨는데 혹시 어떤 점이 가장 잘된?